Hi, it's Caitlin from Caitlin Swatches and I'm here with some Halloween nail polish. Again, I am like in my element this month with all of the Halloween polishes. We have some very cute, dare I say, spoopy nail polishes from Painted Polish and they're available now. So if you want them, grab them so you get them in time for Halloween. There are seven polishes that I'm sharing with you today. I will link the Painted Polish shop down in the description and let's get into them. Let's start off with Children of the Candy Corn and this one is a white Crelly with orange and gold metallic glitters. So I know that my sisters already got shivers down her spine because Children of the Corn is like terrifying to her. So this one has a really great formula. As you can see, it builds up really nicely in just two coats. Um, because this is obviously a glitter crelly, it will be a little bit difficult to remove. And I was able to get it smooth with one layer of top coat, but you might want two if you want like a super glossy, super smooth finish. So here it is in two coats plus top coat, and it's just so cute. The next polish is called Ghoul Squad. And this one features purple and black metallic flakes in a white curly base. So this one is really beautiful. Obviously, all of these polishes are beautiful, but I think it's the shade of the purple in this one and the size of the little flakes. Like, they're just so tiny and really, I guess, subtle in a way. So it just looks really beautiful to me. And it has like a hint of sparkle in it, I think. And it's just really really cute. So I built it up in two coats, got a really nice white base in just two coats, and it won't be difficult to remove. Here we have Orange You Scared, and this one is described as a dark orange crelly with purple, green, and black metallic flakies. So this one has a really beautiful shade of orange. It is like a deeper I think it might have a tiny bit of red to it. It's a really nice shade. And as you can see, this also has those tiny, cute little flakes in it. They come out really easily and it does have the tiniest bit of texture, but top coat will take care of it and it won't be difficult to remove because they're flakes and they're not glitter. So no scrubbing or soaking involved. And here it is in two coats plus top coat. Here we have Pick of the Patch, which is a tiger orange curly base, so it's a little bit lighter than the previous one. And this also has purple, green, and black metallic flakes. So this one is like quintessential Halloween in a bottle to me. It's just the perfect shade of Halloween orange, and I really like how the green flakes in particular stand out in this one. It definitely makes me think of pumpkins and... Again, really great formula. It dries down with the tiniest bit of texture from the flakes, so use a good glossy top coat, but it will not be difficult to remove. So here it is in two coats plus top coat. And now we're moving on to some very sparkly polishes. This one is called That's the Spirit, and this one features a champagne mix of gold and silver reflective glitters, pink galaxy holographic glitters, and micro holographic flakies in a gray crelly base. So this base is really nice. It's definitely kind of making me think of skull and bones and I don't know, maybe a ghost. I don't know. It's definitely got something Halloween-y to it. And this is sort of the classic painted polish reflective hollow formula. So I find it really best to use two layers of top coat so I used a glossy top coat but I also used a glitter grabber underneath it and as you can see it's just incredibly sparkly and the last one before we look at the mystery is called witchful thinking and this one has that same mix of gold and silver reflective glitters pink galaxy hollow glitters and pink or no micro holographic flakies and this one has a black jelly base so this one also builds up really nicely in two coats. This formula is really easy to work with. And as you can see, incredibly sparkly. So you definitely want to use a layer of a glitter top coat. So I used 
cuticula quenched in this video, just like I did with That's the Spirit. Then I let that dry, and then I apply another layer of top coat just to seal everything in and make sure I have the smoothest and glossiest finish possible. As you can see, it's so sparkly. I just love black polishes like this. And here we have Mystery Crelly Vin. I think I said that right. I hope I said it right. And this one is um, limited edition, so it is um, just beautiful. I'm mesmerized by it. It has a colorful mix of metallic glitters in a slimy green crelly base. So if you like this one, grab it because it will not be coming back. And as you can see, the color of those glitters is just perfect with the base. They stand out so nicely and you get so many on your brush without any effort whatsoever. So it will be difficult to remove, but here it is in two coats plus top coat. I loved all of those, obviously, but probably what stands out to me most is Pick of the Patch. Um, it's just like such a Halloween polish to me. The shade of orange, the little tiny flakes in there, and obviously the formula is incredible. And I also super love Ghoul Squad. Um, it's just so cute. I mean, it looks like a little cute ghost nail polish and it's not, you know, explicitly Halloween-y so you could probably wear it anytime. You can wear any of these anytime. And I also really love the Mystery Crelly. It's just like so cool with the mix of the base and the glitters and the formula. My God, I just always go on about the painted polish formula, but if you've used painted polishes, then you know what I'm talking about. So let me know in the comments if you're planning on picking any of these up. Just let me know your favorites. If not, anyway, I always like to know what polishes you like. And um, I guess that's it for me. I hope you have a great day wherever you are and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.